Good day, class. My name is Sophia Fagel. Let me start off by asking you this question. What do you see on me? What are the people exactly cheering for? Or what could be those lights shining upon so brightly? Well, I have two synonyms for you. Soccer. No. I am here to discuss about this sport, uh, its popularity, a brief, a brief history of the uh, sport, and how it unites the world you know, as well. So as you can see, soccer is pretty much you know, famous like all around the world, especially in South America, Europe, Africa. Not as much as in the States or in Canada. You know, you guys usually like football, American football or hockey. But you guys adapt to it. It is played by 250 million people in over 150 countries. And it's basically a simple game. Anyone can play it. It's basically just kicking a ball, running around with friends. But there's a huge difference between just playing it and being passionate about it. Now here's a little brief history upon this sport. It began in the mid 19th century in England. However, the Chinese claims that they had played a similar version of, uh, of it back in 206 to 255 BC, according to BBC News. Now in different countries, it's, it's known as football, not soccer, like as it's known in, uh, in the United States. In South America, it's known as football with a U. And it has slowly become a well-known sport um, as people and technology have kept advancing. Now to this sport, there's different types of teams from all around the world, different kinds of countries, different kinds of people. For example, this is the Colombian national team from the World Cup 2018. Sadly, they lost, but I always root for them. These are all the nationalities and not including clubs, which are basically different teams within one country. So there's just many teams and many different kinds of people playing. Now, it is known as the beautiful game because it unites the world as one. You know, you have different people all over the world, different cultures, different, how can I say it, races, everything. Like they, and they all play it. That's why it's so beautiful because it's just one sport and different kinds of people play it. And they share the same passion for it. As you can see, when you, when you see the World Cup or the Copa America, you see many people cheering for their teams. And it's just good company to have. And honestly, that's why I think of it as a beautiful game. It's different and it's unique, different from other sports. It holds a meaning, to be honest. It holds passion, uh, friendship. It's, it's very unique to be known. And like I said before, you know, different nations, different cultures are all around, and this sport unites all of them. But they, they inc uh, it includes, how can I say, it doesn't discriminate anybody. Anybody can play it all around the world. Nobody is uh, excluded from it. And yeah, it brings family and uh, friends together as well. Uh, for example, in my family, we, we cheer for Colombia and Chile. I go for Colombia more, but my dad called me a traitor for that, so keep it on the down low. And yeah, uh, I love this sport, and uh, I hope everybody can maybe try it out someday. So how about we go play a game of soccer, friendly game? Thank you. Any questions? Yes. yes, and last question. Why did you for Columbia? Because even though you know their height isn't much of a good thing, you got to be tall in soccer and everything. They're very quick. Their technique is uh, used from other countries. For example, Chile or Germany, they use the technique that Colombia uses. And they're just amazing. My favorite uh, players in that team too. Who's your favorite player? James Rodriguez. He used to play for Real Madrid, but now he's in um, the club from England. So that works in there. Why are you so bad for soccer? Because, you know, as a, growing up as a child, I would always see it on the TV television. I didn't even know what it was when I was like three, for example, in Colombia. I would see, I would always hear my family like 
yell, cheering, or say goal, and I'm like, what is goal? Like, goal was actually one of my favorite uh, one of my favorite words to say as a child because I spoke Spanish first, so I grew up, grew up on it, and you know, it's fun. Like seeing every Saturday or Sunday when soccer is on, it's just like play around with family. Uh, we even put family from Colombia to it on Facetime. We just watch the uh, games, mourn if they lose, you know. So yeah, it's pretty cool. I used to play it as a child too. Thank you.